So this will actually give us the ability to control robots. That does include drones in future levels. Unfortunately, it doesn't make it much easier. Um, there is still some very challenging sections to come up. I'd say the next two chapters are probably the hardest chapters in the game. Um, but once you've got that, that's another achievement unlocked. You'll just want to continue to the right. Now this section can be a bit fiddly, there is a lot of uh, timing and moving parts, but to start with we just want to jump onto this platform to lower it. Um, so we will be introducing the ability to control robots as I mentioned. One of the robots, or the only robot that will be allowed to manipulate in this area is the platform we're currently stood on. So to do that we need to go to the left hand side here, we'll see this kind of glowing white orb in a machine. So if we hold X on that, that will give us control of the platform. It takes a while to take control, just bear that in mind. It's not bugged, it's just slow. So we need to keep uh, the platform to the right here, and we need to have it just past the edge of the uh, kind of platform there, and we want to raise it as high as it'll go because this will gradually lower over time. So once you've got it to the top, hold X to uh, take, take away control, and then jump up to the side. Now, as I mentioned, be very careful. If you fall, you will die. If you miss, you will die. It's really challenging, so just wait until it's at the right point, jump onto the platform as it's lowering, and then jump across to the left-hand side where the switch is. Now, it's also handy if you keep, if you put Mui and make Mui sit on that, because we'll need that in a moment. So just run to the left, open the grate, get Mui to sit on the platform, and then we need to interact again with the uh, moving platform. So we'll move it up. Now what we'll need to do is get Mui to chew through the cable. It's currently electrified, so don't do that. But what you need to do is line Mui up with it, raise it to the top, hold X to stop interacting with it, and then immediately jump to the switch that we just opened the grate next to. So if we go over here, and then what we want to do is hold X to move the grate, and then when Mu is in line with the frayed part of the rope, you press Y, and then we want to reactivate the power, and we want to move the platform so it bridges the gap between the opened bridge, sec bridge section and the section above the power control. Uh, as always with this uh, panel, we need to raise it to the roof because it will lower, so raise it to the very top, hold X to stop interacting with it, jump onto the platform, and then you'll have to jump across both. This is the part that I found the most hard. Um, it took me several runs to get, obviously this is a perfect run um, in total, but it, this particular section took me the most practice to get right. So you want it almost exactly, uh, I'd say not quite halfway, you want it slightly more towards the bridge. You do want a bit of a run up, there's an element of momentum to this. And then jump as late as you can, just as the platform gets in line with your platform. And then, as quick as you can, jump across. And call Mui and continue. Hola. Okay, so we just want to carry on and head through the gap here. And then just continue to the right. We have one of the kind of very basic hide sections. We just want to hide in the grass till the enemy swings over us and then go to the right. This will be the first time we can control a drone though, so if you just want to rip the panel off this and hold X on it. And the controls for the drone are just left stick to move and right trigger to fly upwards. It's a bit, it's challenging, um, but what we want to do is we just want to land them on that biosensor so they can open the platform for us, and then we can proceed ahead. Thank you. 
Now we want to interact with this boat and that will take us to our next chapter. So immediately from the start of this chapter we want to go to the left. Um, this is one of the easiest to get but uh, also probably the easiest to miss shrines. So if we just continue all the way to the left hand side here we will get shrine number 8 of 10. Now, unfortunately, it's a very long swim. We will have to swim all the way back again. So now if we just continue all the way right here. This level will also be somewhat easy, there won't be too many challenging enemies. Um, obviously we'll point out what sections might be difficult, but if you just keep going to the right. Don't forget to recall Mimi like I did. So we need to use Mui as bait here, so if we get them out there and have them hypnotise the boar, we can use them to back up onto that biosensor and raise the platform to our left. We can now jump up. And we can also jump all the way to the right. Something that it doesn't mention but is, is worth noting is if uh, Mui stops hypnotizing a enemy they will be dazed for a short moment so you'll see here that the uh, boar doesn't immediately attack me there is time for them to run away so now that's done we're just going to continue to the right So I don't think you, uh, when you immediately get up here you want to obviously hide in the, the grass. Um, you can make it to this little under bit straight away if you try, but I would always recommend going for the grass and then playing it safe. But once the drone goes above you, just proceed ahead. Far more simple than some of the other kind of sections, but if you just keep, make sure you run all the way. Uh, the drone does kind of chase you, so if you just jump across that you should be fine. Now we'll be introduced to this kind of goo. Now the goo is also the enemy of the drone, so they will destroy it. But when you walk through the goo, you will be slowed. So you need to wait until the drone has gone um, all the way to the left. I didn't have, I didn't time it very well here, but you can uh, go. And then when it's on, going to the right, you just continue, get into the next section of grass, and then again, once it goes all the way to the left, you can dip ahead. So to start with, we just want Mui to drop us this uh, vine. <clears throat> now, we'll Come use on. the vine to swing across the slime. Um, the slime, obviously, Hello. if it has those kind of tendrils sticking out, it will do damage. It won't just slow you down, it will do damage and kill you. So we need to use the vine so that we don't die. 
and then what we'll be able to do is on the other side of here will be the drone control station so we'll be able to actually take control of the drone and uh, use it to kill the uh, kind of black tendrils so if we just crawl under here rip the panel off of the, the uh, drone bot and take control of the drone I believe there's four uh, areas of uh, the kind of black sludge that you need to attack with the drone. So I would do that first once you take control. So I was unlucky, it was all the way to the right, so I had quite a ways to go. Yeah, all the way to the left, so I had to come back to the right. So if you just follow it, try not to hit things like I do. Uh, but then once you put the tendrils in the field of vision, the drone will attack. Now, just continue to the right. Uh, this is the path we're going to walk shortly. If you just repeat this process, so that's two, that's three, and then this should be the last one, that's four. And once you've destroyed all the tendrils, you want to go straight up. There'll be a platform directly above on a cliff face. And you'll notice there's a shrine right next to it. And there's some, uh, there is a biosensor that you'll need to activate. So once you've done that, you'll need to stop interacting with the drone, move all the way to the, le the left-hand side, and climb up to the area okay. we've just opened. So yep, just jump onto the extended platform, Carry on all the way to the right hand side. As always, interact with the shrine. This will be 9 of 10. And you'll get your achievement. So just head back down once you've got your achievement and you'll just need to proceed to the right hand side where we cleared all the uh, black sludge. Ima. You can jump a little bit to avoid some of the delay from the goop, but for the most part you just have to kind of trudge through it. And keep going to the right, we'll be able to climb up this little rock face here and swing across with the rope. Now you'll notice there's a large section of water here, so what we'll need to do is we'll need to free one of the logs and drag Mui all the way across. So what you want to do is just go all the way to the right first and drop down into the water. And then once in the water, head to the left hand side, you'll see there's a log uh, just in front of the kind of bamboo frame. And if you just drag the log backwards, it will free the rope and the frame will fall down and then you just want to drag the log all the way to the left have Mui jump on it so you can drag it all the way to the right as I've mentioned the log can be a bit funky um, make sure every time you switch from water to land you will have to re-grab it and obviously hold on to it to drag Mui across um, but once Mui's on it just drag it all the way to the right hand side climb up the uh, 